control that he may now have being be gone green? Yeah, I think Deacon is just, uh, you know, I think number one is uh, understanding of what to do, you know, progressions, uh, and really turning the intensity up in practice, you know, trying to get better, play with urgency. But I think all of the guys are competing hard and, and improving, and it's a, it's a good competitive situation. Do you have to tell Graham anything differently about Chase behind him? I don't know whether he'll even think that way to begin with, but he's the only quarterback on the roster now that's healthy that's played in a game. What, yeah. what sort of conversations, if any, have you had with him about that? Uh, we haven't, you know, uh, other than just, you know, making sure we're supporting Chase and what he's going through, which is not easy for him. It's a tough situation. Uh, but I think you have to uh, approach the game the way you always approach it. You play the game a certain way. You know, we'll probably, you know, just be thoughtful of that, obviously, and be mindful of that in, in as much, in many ways as we can. But I don't think that any player can go into the game, you know, uh, playing this game of football with any hesitation. Talk about competition at the quarterback spot. Do you know who would be your second guy at this point? No. Right now it's a competition. You know, you know those guys know it, uh, and, and they're practicing hard. And it's a great opportunity for everybody to continue to elevate their game. Um, so you know, right, right now there's this undetermined. Uh, so we'll just kind of see how the week goes and how it progresses along. And uh, but those guys are, are, are excited about it and competing hard. What did Skylar Bell do to lock up that wide receiver two spot? Uh, consistently made plays. Uh, when you look at Juice's body of work over. The summer and over training camp, you know, you just love his approach. Uh, he's a consistent worker, and I think you know some of the things that jump out is just his strength of play. You know, him, him making strong plays on the ball. But I think the number one thing that you look for is the consistency in which he was able to just make those plays all the time. Uh, is it important to put on film early in the season some differences or some strides in the passing game for these guys to build confidence, or how do you weigh how much you want to put out there, knowing some? Some of the games that may be coming up. Yeah, I, I just think we're trying to win the football game. <laughs> uh, you know, it's week one, and, and I think as a coach, as, as our staff, we want to put our guys in position to go out and play well and make plays, you know, and just understanding, you know, what our strengths and weaknesses are. And, and to me, that's my goal. At the end of the day, uh, we want to put these guys in position to make plays, run game, pass game, pass pro. Doesn't matter. Just go out and make plays and, and uh, help us win the football game. Happy is there. What are, some of the, what are some of the things that you prefer about being in the booth and why did you choose that for the season? Yeah, I don't know that yet. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I, I have to get back to you on that one. Um, <laughs> but uh, so it's new territory, but I, I enjoyed a couple of times I went up there. You know, it allows you to see things from a different perspective, obviously. It allows you to communicate differently in between series. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that, and I'll get back to you on that question. Sure. Well, yeah, I'm guessing you have a different handle on your personnel and what guys can do and can't do. Right. You know, who's going to come down and fit safeties? Who can, who can pull? You know, so I just think it's a continual, as a coaching staff, like I mentioned earlier, you want to know what your guys do well, and you want to, as a coach, put them in position to do that so they can go out and compete hard. What about specifically with Graham? Um, how much improvement and where have you seen him improve since he first got with him? Well, number one, I think Graham's a worker. You know, anytime you're a consistently hard worker, you have a chance to improve. Uh, number two, you know, just we've done a lot of stuff on the center. Uh, that's been a point of emphasis uh, this offseason. So you see improvement there, and I think that helps with your timing. Uh, and then just continue his decision making. You know, all of those things uh, help a quarterback be successful. You know, always chasing accuracy. So uh, each one of those areas, you know, as a coach, you know, as, as our staff, we just try and improve and, and attack each one of those areas. When you say improvement when he's under center, is one of the things footwork when he's coming back into his drop, which leads to better timing because if his footwork is there and his receivers are in the route, is that one of the things? That, That's, that is the thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. What gives you just guys the confidence to have Joe Brunner next up at the left guard? He's a guy that didn't enroll in the spring, so you know he's still trying to find his way here as a student, not just a football player. But yeah, I think Joe is a big physical guy um, that can move, uh, and that's a great combination to have. Obviously, you know, uh, he's still growing and he's still learning in his role, but you like his approach, you like his toughness. What do you like off the field, though, in terms of picking up the playbook, doing the responsibilities? I mean, is he different than most true freshmen to be able to, you know, not roll early and yeah. come in an offensive line that's generally pretty stacked? Well, I, I trust his coach. <laughs> <laughs> 
your oh, with your resume uh, at tight end, coaching tight end or in the NFL, mm-hmm. how are you feeling right now about the group with Clay, Hayden, and others? Yeah, I, I like our group at tight end. Um, Clay, Hayden, Esh, uh, you know, even Jalen and our young guy Jack. You know, I think Chris Aaron's done a great job in getting those guys to prepare. You know, they're constantly working on the details of their footwork in the run game and their fits, and they really work hard to finish. Each guy has a little bit different skill set, but each guy can help our offense be successful. What do you feel that stand out about Jack Extra back, in your opinion? Uh, I think, you know, he, he can run. He's got speed. Uh, Esh is a worker. He's physically not afraid to throw it in there. Um, and uh, he attacks he attacks practice every day, you know, with, with a working mentality uh, to get better. What do you like about Isaac Arendo at the kick returner spot? I like Isaac Perry as a player. <laughs> uh, I mean, speed, power, explosiveness, what's not to like. Yeah, I mean, he's only ever had a one career kick return. So, like, what do you think he brings to that unit? Uh, speed, power, explosiveness. <laughs> Right. He's, I mean, he's a talented guy uh, that, that we like a lot. So we're just trying to find ways to get the ball in his hands. What does the game plan is in a game like how you want to break down carries between Braylon and Chaz and, and Isaac? Or is it kind of feeling out as well? Yeah, no, I have not thought about that. You know, and again, I think Coach Al will be all over that. Um, but, you know, generally in my experience, you, 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 you get guys involved and you kind of see who's hot. Good.